good day. Uh, so continuing um, converting Elm and Elm up to Gleam and Lustre. Uh, let's see where we were yesterday. Do, do, do. Right, okay. We were in the middle of messing about with the model. So we have, we've switched things up. So we're passing in JSON to the main uh, function. Um, and then we're passing that down through the init call to the decode flags. And then Here we go. At the moment, we are just creating a model with just the refreshing um, element entry um, property. It's a record. I'm not sure what you would call it in Gleamland. <clears throat> um, and we're, at the moment, we're just setting it to false. This is just like dummy, dummy code at the moment because the model itself is quite complex. It's got a bunch of stuff that I've just commented out. Uh, which calls in other things here. So we were testing this. Created a dummy little test here. And now we need to start fleshing out that model uh, and seeing if we can decode it with data that will come in from the back end into the GUI as such. Okay, let's alter this then. Let's add in this. So this is going to be the auto refresh flag, which is like user controlled. And it says whether we're going to be using the timer to fetch the cron schedules um, every five seconds or whatever. So what we're going to do here. So if I save this now, that should fail. Yeah, because the model needs more data. So when I'm doing the decode here and returning the model, I need to add in that stuff. So this is where we start to need to do JSON-y types things. Um, da -da 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 -da. If I look at the Elm code, So, here I'm actually decoding into the flags property um, type, which is very similar to the model. So, okay. So I did have a decode auto refresh function which is strange why? why did I do that it's just returning one oh switching ah okay right okay Good point. Mm. So, where is it? There it is. So, this is the Quampixie object which we get at the beginning on startup. And 
this is data coming from WordPress. And the booleans come as strings like one here. Uh, do we have example events here? So example events here is empty, and that means false. And then the auto refresh is a one, which means true. So that's why I had to do a little decode for them to make sure that they converted to proper types. Hmm. Well, I don't need to do functions that are very specific to them. I could just do a decode boolean. Well, decode string to boolean or something like that. Hmm, okay. Let's have a look. So yeah. Because the Right, okay, because I was encoding as well. Because obviously when I save a change to those settings. I obviously thought, right, okay, we'll just make it very specific to the field so that we can, if we need to, change it in the future. But I think that's like two functions too many there. Okay, let's see what we can do. We need to uh, do JSON -y stuff. So I need to start Dealing with the JSON flags there. Let's put um, auto refresh true. Actually, we'll make it false by default and we'll switch that up in a minute. So now my tests are failing, I hope. Yes, good. So the data test now should match that. Okay. So it tests the pass with that. I could take that to do off because we're in the middle of that. Um, okay. But now what we really want to do is pass in some JSON. Probably something like auto refresh um, Well, I guess that's going to be empty, hasn't it? That's the like the bare minimum JSON to satisfy that model. It doesn't do anything at the moment. I've got to do something with it. Actually, that's a good point. That's not going to test well, is it? 
Let's do this. Make that a one. Though, aren't I... Can I use... Uh, single quotes? Because a JSON should really double be double quoted, I think. Yeah. Okay, it needs... Go have a quick look at what strings are. So, strings. Hmm. So I might need to, for my tests. Although, can Jason have single quotes or not? Well, find out. We'll do that and then we'll see. Right, so in theory, what I want is here this to arrive as true, which is not going to do now because we're only getting a false because we've hard coded it. So let's go back to the data. and fix this up. So somehow I need to get these flags um, into this model. So I think it's JSON time. And I was looking at this, wasn't I? It says it's Erlang. Uh, but I'm using a JavaScript target. Uh, which is a real shame. I'm surprised at that though. Gleam lang is the gleam is the the canonical one as such. Hey. So they're the standard tests. Hello, yeah, look, so they're encoding quotes there. So I might need to do that. Let's, um, so they've got an FFI here for JavaScript, or rather a tester. So it looks like it probably does do JavaScript. It's just probably just a documentation issue. It's a quick look at the source. There we go, look, there's FFIs for both Erlang and JavaScript. Yeah, it's just using the JSON stuff. JSON obviously is built into JavaScript as well as it came from. Uh, so it's good to see they've just upgraded this library. Take advantage of that. Yeah, okay. So they've got different target stuff here. Um, and then external overwords. All right, so I think it's probably okay. I think it's just a documentation issue here. Uh, let's give it a go. Um, so I am looking to effectively do like here. I want to get a string of JSON. I want to create a decoder. 
and then pass that off to json.decode uh, and hopefully we get some sort of result which matches our model and hopefully not an error. So it, that's something I have to deal with there, results. I'll have to learn how to do that as well. Okay. Um, right. So let's do this then. We are going to, what's it? Just import Gleam JSON. Okay. Gleam JSON. Uh, and I'm only going to need. Well, let's do the bear at the moment and then we can put in dynamic stuff. Hmm. Let's do that as well because I'm obviously going to need it. Put in the dynamic library as well. Um, and I'll do that for the moment. Uh, and now, let's see what we can do here. Um, Do we want to pass back potentially an error? I guess we do. Let's do this then. So in the example, we create a decoder. How do I add the extra field to that? So let This will be why I used flags last time. Because I don't have the refreshing coming in. In Elm I had all flags. Model as such. That was then passed to the model. Okay. Let's try it this way first. Uh, so we're looking at dynamic decode um, dynamic decode I'm going to say two. Uh, 
and we are doing that into the model and we are getting that from yeah this might not work let's give it a go though and um, so field of If I wonder that's going to be a little bit tricky. Because technically it is a string coming in. That's the problem. So it's a string coming in, but it should act as a boolean, purely because the string has either got nothing in it for false or one for true. So it's not, it's not great for that kind of scenario there. That's probably why I had the de little decoders. Hmm. Okay, so let's do this then. Instead of that, we will create um, public function decode. string um, and we're going to have what do I use here JSON string string and then let's have name also a string and we're going to want to return We are going to want to return probably a result, I guess. With the value as a bool. And I can't see it because of the widget stuff going on there. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, oh, can I not? Oh yeah, yeah, I don't need to give it a label. Dope. So we're expecting a ball back, hopefully. Otherwise it might be a JSON the just error? Decode error. Okay. So here right, better. Take that out for a moment so I don't get the errors. So we're going to do what we're going to do here then. I just need to check that message. see yeah I kind of lost track there what I want to do is grab that field has passed in so we want to do something like Ah, actually, I don't need a result here. I just want a bool because I can assume like false as a result otherwise. So what I can do here is call a decode bool. Oh, Got to fix that. Decode bool string. Pass in the flags and auto refresh. And that should get me a ball back. And then in here. How does the decode work? Yeah, it's going to return a result. So I want an OK or error. Let's 
this is where maybe I can do something like uh, what was it I'm looking for? Uh, use maybe oh I could use a case expression okay yeah I could do that so I could decode it, and if I get um, an OK, I can use this value. Ah, uh, well. Hmm. I guess I could use this value. Yeah, this is uh, where my inexperience with both functional languages and, of course, Gleam is tripping me up because I'm, I'm not sure which direction I should go here. So if we use a case, I should be able to do something like... decode I got bill here hmm That's not what I want. Yeah, I definitely want more like take the field. Okay, so I do think I need to decode it then. Okay, let um. Decoder equal dynamic and I want uh, why is it not also completing anymore hmm decode one, I guess. Did I? Well, I can't tell because I've got the thingies.
it is decode one. Okay, well we're here, look at field, take a name, something or other, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, was that named? No, I didn't say, that's fine. All right, okay. Oh, I could just pipe it as well. There's a lot of different ways I could do this, I think. Uh, right, so we're going to do a decode one um, into Oh, do I always have to do it? A model. That's not what I want. I am very lost at the moment. I'm, I don't know. I'm sure it's like super easy, but I'm going around in circles trying to work out how to cleanly do this, grabbing a field. Out of some JSON. I just want the one at the moment. I'm kind of making life harder for myself by not using the model completely in one go. But I also need to convert the result grabbing the field out of the JSON to something else, namely from a string to a bool. So, okay, let's work this out. We have, what's this from? Okay. So, I can pass anything into dynamic from to get dynamic and then in what can I do with this bool? Oh. Okay. What shall I do? Okay. 
Hmm, okay. What does classify do? All right, interesting. What does any do? Join multiple decoders into one. And when, when run, they will each be tried in turn until one succeeds or they all fail. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But I still need to do this decode. So can I do... string there? Mm, yeah, very confused. I'm going around in circles. I oh, know it's not great, but I need to get this right for this conversion of a string to a bool. If I take... If I take the field... And I expect it to be a string at first. I don't want this. I don't want the cat there. As much as I like cats, <laughs> I want. I want something else. I wonder, can I use either an OK or just string? Is string effectively a function or not? Let's find out. So let's do string there and then we'll do Um, dynamic build auto refresh. Uh, was it to or from? 
of string. That's right. Yeah. Mm, okay. So can I do that? Ah. Oh, yeah. Expected type bool. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not at the point where I want to return yet. Hold on a minute. Okay. So then it's doing a JSON decode. Into a result. So I should be able to do JSON decode from JSON string. Is it two? No, using decoder. Well, that should complain. I'm expecting a type name here. Oh. Oops. So the type of this return value doesn't match the return type. Does it be able, yeah, 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 okay, that's fine. Result. Okay. Then I'm going to do case result. Okay. Don't know how to do a case statement. Uh, is that a little bit more complex one?
results. Little lag is my granddad. Okay. That's not what I wanted. I want to find out how I grab the value. I run out of time. Hmm. Okay, money minus five, blah, blah, blah. So that's just returning the result. Okay, five. How do I get the value out? Is it okay? Um, and then do auto brief. So what's the issue there? Expected type result string something found string. That doesn't make sense. Am I supposed to do this? Right, I'm lost. I need to go work out. I need to go read. Go need to do some learning, I think. I obviously don't know what on earth I'm doing with this case stuff and uh, results. I'm, I'm sure I'm making this way too complicated. Because this is all wrong. Way wrong. Oh. <laughs> or not. Well, I bet it is wrong still. Okay. Didn't get my return type correct. Okay. All right, I've got to go now. But I will come back to that because that does not seem right. I'm doing too much there.
well, and for starters, that. Should be the name. And... That could just be anything, I guess. Yeah, that, that bit there doesn't seem right. I don't think I need to do that. Oh, yeah. And I can do this. It's not an OK. I could just return false. But I don't know what I'm doing here because this doesn't seem right. I need to go find out to, how I should be working with results because why am I looking at OK again when I've got an OK here? Maybe. I've got to go. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.